Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Tonight we're back here with Death Battle. Tonight, well, we got a multi armed combat showdown between Girl Mortal Kombat and Machamp from Pokemon. Yeah, Girl's taking on a Machamp. This is gonna be interesting. So, I'm not sure which multi armed menace is gonna win, but we're about to find out. So, be sure to like, subscribe for more. Hope you enjoy. Let's watch the fight. Or just get to the. Uh, you know, video. Sorry. I don't know why I keep saying menace, but that's mostly, uh, <laughs> Goro. Sorry. Not sorry. First up. Bruce Lee once said, I don't believe in different ways of fighting. We all have two arms and two legs, so that is why I believe there should be only one way of fighting. Clearly, he never met these four-armed fighters with four forearms. Goro, the half-dragon prince of mortal combat. And Machamp, the fighting type Pokemon from the Kanto region. He's mm -hmm. Wiz and I'm Boomstick. Kanto versus Ch and oh, it's our job to analyze fun. their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death uh, battle. Death battle. Let's start. First up, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Do, 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 ah, the fighting tournament is killer as its iconic theme song. With a reputation like that, you better believe oh, the first boss easy. in the game would be a champion who's won nine times in a row. He won't just mm -hmm. kick your ass, he'll rip your arms off too. This is Goro, prince of the Shokan people and one of their strongest warriors. He's eight feet two inches tall, weighs 550 pounds, and clocks in at 2,000 years old with no signs of slowing down. He's been through a hell of a lot during his run, but here are the highlights. He fought in a civil war, crushed some $500 sunglasses, and uh, oh yeah, he's a half-humanoid, half-dragon person. Who would Damn. be stupid dragon. enough to fight a half dragon with four arms? Not many. Most of the Mortal Kombat roster refuses to fight Goro because they're terrified of losing to him and getting torn in two. After yep. living for as long as he has, you better believe he's picked up some skills. He's got 500 years of experience in Mortal Kombat tournaments and has mastered a ton of different fighting styles. He's obviously familiar with the Shokan style, which uses his extra appendages to lethal effect. He's also a master of an adapted version of the Kuatan style, which is much more elaborate and relies on the strengths of a more traditional humanoid body. Like kicks Odd. and stuff. Uh, right. On top of that, Goro's got a ton of fun tricks up his four sleeves, like fireballs, dragon breath, high-flying stomps, quadruple grabs, and his favorite, crushing skulls. But if those don't work, he's got bladed weapons called Dragon Fangs. They're like Shredder's claws, but there's four of them. One for each hand. Oh my god. Are you okay, Boomstick? Well, right. is it weird that Goro kind of reminds me of the guy that my ex-wife ran off with? What, because Wait, he's so really? buff? Uh -huh. Yeah, but mostly the four arms. I mean, how am I supposed to keep up with that? He's got two more hands than me. Huh. Eh? Odd. Sorry. Oof. Anyway, with all... Oof. Or boomstick. Girl got taken by a Shokan. Oof. That's gotta hurt. Or <laughs> Do I even want to know that forearm guy? <laughs> like, I don't know. Was it like a buff forearm? You know, like, just regular arms? But, jeez. What the hell's going on in that universe? <laughs> anyway. All those tournament titles, it's pretty clear Goro stands above most other Mortal Kombat combatants. Yeah, literally. Okay. Characters like Cabal, Johnny Cage, or even Kotal Khan who once destroyed this ship, which is clearly inspired by Spanish conquistadors. Based on historical yeah, references see to the ships, the power needed to destroy one like this would require over three billion joules of energy. We also saw Raiden destroy yeah, this temple cage. with almost 270 tons of TNT, which is a lot. Uh, to... On top of that, Cabal can move fast enough to parry machine gun fire. To pull mm -hmm. that off, you'd have to be moving almost three times as fast as sound. Goro's not the Let only get to that black Shokan. Canary one. The oh. tiger striped Kintaro survived oh, this Kintaro. massive experience explosion. Using the average height for a Shokan and comparing it to the blast radius, we can posit that this explosion yielded a Damn. force equivalent to over 25 tons of TNT. The Shokan are a tough people, Remember. that's for sure, Remember. and super proud. After a disappointing loss to the Shaolin monk Liu Kang, Goro was unable to secure a 10th MK title in a row. And while it seriously hurt his warrior pride, he didn't <laughs> stop beating the shit out of people. Not only did he eventually try to win that title again, but he also fought in multiple wars including one with the similarly powerful Centurions. But he never stayed in one place for too long, like when he pissed off Kotalkan and got his arms ripped off. But oh. even without his primary weapons at his side, Goro would not give up. 
He even managed to defeat the ninja Kenshi. Without any freaking arms! God damn! Also, a limbless guy versus a blind guy? Throw Professor X in there and you have yourself the ultimate, and definitely most offensive, crippled threat match. Oh, Oof. what? I've got one leg! <laughs> With or without his many titles, Goro always has the make of a champion. His determination and will to fight is only matched by his strength, power, and, frankly, bloodlust. Even with his failures, he truly is the greatest of the Shokan. I will give you a warrior's <laughs> Round one. Fight! Fight! But we still gotta get to his opponent. So, yeesh. Man. Kono Khan or Goro were really, like, you know, push himself to the limit. Sorry, I'm just double checking things. So, anyway, that's one. Time to check out the Pokemon, Machamp. Let's check it out. Welcome to Kanto. The superpower Pokemon, Machamp, is a fighting type that originated in the Kanto region. Solo they begin their type, lives the as the youthful Machop, which trained tirelessly to learn and eventually master every form of martial arts. Able to pick up a it's a legal too. combo of adorable and kick-ass. And they're mm -hmm. jacked. The Machop possesses muscles more dense than humans that allow them to train for long periods of time without mm -hmm. fatigue. Eventually, the young Machop will reach a new level, leaving behind the days of its youth and evolving into a Machoke. The Machoke is strong enough to lift dump trucks with ease. And once yeah, he's moved hand. on from the teenage days of angst and rebellion, Machoke evolves into the rock spirit Pokemon, Machamp. Machamp. This four-armed fighter stands five feet tall and weighs an average of 280 pounds. Dang. Even after realizing its final evolution, most Machamps continue to train and pursue Red, blue, peak blue, levels blue, of Karina, physical fitness. Giovanni. When they're not firing off sets at the gym, they're most likely helping humans as movers, construction workers, and bodyguards. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they're just beating other Pokemon senseless in the dogfighting <laughs> ring that is the Pokemon world. Questionable pet and owner relationships aside, Machamp seems to simply enjoy yeah, helping movie. people, whether in the Pokemon arena or in the outside world. And Machamps are well equipped for both. They have a ton of great moves like Bulk Up, which increases physical power, Knock Off, which can knock anything off of an opponent's hands, and okay, Seismic Adams. Toss. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit! Did he just launch that rat into orbit? Fighting type Pokemon hmm. like Machamp make for fearsome I predators think against like normal, tosses ice, a rock, and dark types. Even Steel type Pokemon turn brittle under Machamp's brute strength. On the other end of the spectrum, Machamp can fall prey to agile flying Pokemon, cerebral psychic types, and mystical fairies. Man, <laughs> Pokemon's f***ing weird. However, the Machamp... Eh, that's what we love about it. We expect. <laughs> you gotta love the weirdness sometimes. Just gotta love it. <laughs> also, yeah, luckily the Machamps are, you know, a lot nicer than other Pokemon. Some of you here, oh, they'll steal your soul, or, 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 uh, or, you know, Oh, they're really toxic, but this one? Handy, helpful, and kind. You gotta love it. Anyway. Pamp can always fall back on their natural abilities, the most common of which is named Guts. Whenever a Machamp is burned, poisoned, or paralyzed, its adrenaline spikes, increasing its physical power. Including his physical moves, which is like all of them. According mm -hmm. to the Pokedex, Machamp yeah, can punch a thousand, 1, punches thousand in two times seconds. in two seconds, and can move mountains with one hand. Now, the Pokedex isn't always the it's most reliable source. Kind of, yeah. However, we have seen proof of the Champ's thousand punches in Pokémon Tournament. To do this in <laughs> two seconds, Machamp must be punching at speeds faster than sound. Damn! If having two extra arms is like shooting fish in a barrel, then this is like baking perfectly good cookie dough. It, it's like totally unnecessary. In order to hey, move yeah. a mountain, Machamp would need to exert anywhere from 8 to 30 kilotons of TNT. Yeah, kilotons. And pulling off that. their signature move, Seismic Toss, would require even more yeah, energy. In the game. Considering an average weight of 200 kilograms for any given Pokemon, and the speed at which they travel when thrown, a typical Machamp's throwing power would need to be equivalent to over 130 kilotons of TNT. Machamps can also yeah, take a lot, a lot of stronger damage. Than the they live and fight together, after all. As we can see, Machops and Machokes in particular are raised in herds of their own kind. It's natural that they would fight all the time, exhausting an insane amount of power on each other. And, according to some people, they look great while doing it. There's even a fan club of people who find themselves unexplainably attracted to them. This is real. Probably run by my ex-wife. 
We didn't even make it halfway through the reception. I guess my yes. signature move is signing divorce papers. The well, Machamp is so strong, the species have become a favorite amongst gym leaders, such as Giovanni and B. Makes sense! They can go head to head with a ton of crazy strong pocket monsters! <laughs> the Machamp is an extremely tough Pokemon that rounds out any roster. After all, they literally live to fight. Yep. <laughs> like I said, they are known to be able to handle the toughest of opponents. Or at least the toughest of Pokemon. No wonder fighting types love them. <laughs> but hey, if it works, it works, right? So, that's the analysis on the way. Let's see which of these four armed guys win. Will it be the Machamp or Girl? Let's find out. Hmm. There's Girl. <laughs> Ball seen the trophies. And the Machamp arrived. That's a curtain? <laughs> what? You're no Shokan. Be gone from my lair. Macha! Yeah, sorry, looks like he's looking for a fight, buddy. Get fun. Pathetic rod like you wastes our dragon blood. Here we go. Fight! Yeah, it said. Ooh, Pearl overpowered early. Oh, oh. oh there he is. Knock off and boom, arm thrust. Oof. Oh no, you don't. Going up. Seismic toss. Down you go. <laughs> he just tapped Jack. Nice. That's gotta be our. Not enough for goal, though. Damn, they're really rolling it out. Please stay like a warrior. Machamp. Stop saying that. It's all you can say, dude. Relax. I am the champion of Mortal Kombat. Oh, it's like not for long, though. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no. Oh. oh, looks like it's going for the arm. Or <laughs> just a rip apart. Don't celebrate early, cuz. Yep, incoming. Yep, you ain't done yet. Oh, fire press. Like, really? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. He's like, thanks for that. Come on. Damn, they are not holding back. Oh. Cross chop and boom. Ooh, where's the break? Oh, there goes an arm. Pull one in return. Uh-oh, Koro's Chuck. Oh, here we go. It's the finale. Thousand blows. See ya. Adios. Woo. Good night. Oh. That it? <laughs> Putting that arm back. He forgot to say he's blasting off again. Do it over. We gotta get that joke right at least once. This was certainly yeah, no, a uh, unique battle to experience. <laughs> well, Machamp's forms. resilience came in handy. Goro's fighting styles continued to put Machamp to the test again and again. Plus, but he's got Goro's the moves to counter. At eight feet tall, Goro towers a full three feet over the <laughs> average Machamp. Obviously, not including yeah, the Dynamax, no Dynamax and Gigantamax, and Gigantamax forms found exclusively in the Gala region. Also, while Machamp could punch at Mach 1 speeds, Goro could technically match Cabal, who would need to move at nearly Mach 3 to parry machine gun fire. So, as far as punching speed was concerned, it looks like Goro actually had the advantage. Except it hardly mattered. Yeah, nope. Machamp's power output outdid Goro's and then some. Yeah, remember, Even regular scaling Goro to kill to a ton. ship feet and comparing it to the seismic toss, See? Machamp is almost 170,000 times more powerful. This mm -hmm. karate duck man Just... is on a whole other level. 
Plus, he it had a ton of ways to counter everything Goro threw at him. Knockoff mm -hmm. prevented Goro from using weapons, and Guts he could fang. take Goro's fire breath and use it for himself. And get stronger. Dragon fangs and fire breath hardly would make much of a difference considering how durable the Machamp species is. After all, their primary trait is learning how to fight. So they'd naturally be oh, yeah, fighting each other quite fighting styles too. Ah, the majestic Machamp, roaming the fields of the Kanto region, gently seismic tossing each other into orbit. Just imagine I kind of want to see that. that on your Sunday stroll. <laughs> you were right. The Pokemon world is wild. This grabby yep. match turned bloody brawl was intense and made me realize that we're all strong and beautiful just the way we are. No matter how many arms you have or whose wife you stole. Good for Yeesh, you. Move on. While Goro put up an excellent battle that would have made his people proud, he didn't have enough to overpower the superpower Pokemon. Unfortunately, this foe was forced to forfeit his four fists. Fitting that his final fate would be so freaking gory. The winner <laughs> is winner? Machamp. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. The Pokemon defeats the Mortal Kombat champion. Man, I gotta say, Mortal Kombat had a rough time at it, huh? <laughs> Yeesh. Anyway, so there's the battle. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Let me know in the comments. And until next time, like, subscribe for more. See ya.